In this video, we're going to learn about bcrypt.js. Now, bcrypt.js is a little different than bcrypt. You may have heard of just bcrypt. bcrypt is used with Node.js on a server. Um, it's the best thing to use if you're using something like Node.js. Um, but bcrypt.js is a little different. It's meant to be used on the front end in like a browser um, in some sort of JavaScript-based framework. Uh, maybe React, React Native, Expo, something like that. So in this video, we're going to use bcrypt.js because we want to use it on the front end in a React Native app. Traditional bcrypt won't work in a React Native or Expo app on the front end. It, it has to be bcrypt.js. Before we get started, a little explanation about how bcrypt works. bcrypt is basically a secure way to save passwords to like a database. Basically, if you type in the word hello, uh, and send it through Bcrypt's algorithm, it'll pump out a really long set of characters. So that really long set of characters will be saved to the database. Uh, and it's almost impossible to decode that really long string uh, back into the original hello password. So it just makes your database secure in case someone ever tries to hack into it. They won't be able to uh, steal your user's uh, login credentials. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell icon. We come out with videos all the time and let's go ahead and get started. I'll have a link to this in the description below, uh, but this is the Bcrypt JS package that we'll be using in our app. This here is an app I uh, used in another video uh, explaining uh, Fingobox.com. Fingobox.com is a way to create a database uh, that you can connect to from the front end using APIs. So you don't need a server to use Fingobox, the Fingobox database. If you'd like to learn more about that, here's a video that walks you through that. And also, if you'd like to see the code to this app, uh, there's a link in the description below to the GitHub uh, code. All right, so we'll go through these instructions together. Your first step is just npm install bcrypt.js. And again, it's very important to put the JS at the end. If you just put bcrypt, it won't work. So I'll go ahead and put that there. All right, and after you install that, it says to copy this somewhere. So I'm gonna go ahead and come up here in my app, paste it there. Uh, the next part is you'll wanna go down to this usage part. Um, you'll create a salt, and this is gonna be used in the function, uh, in this hash function to create your hash. Um, what that long string is called, um, it's called a hash that you turn your password into this long string. The long string is called a hash. So uh, just the next part, we'll want to go ahead and copy the salt. Come under bcrypt, put that right there. All right, now I'm going to be using this in my signup function. Uh, I'll open the app in just a second. But the way this is working is down here in my inputs, I have an input for a password. Um, so I want to change this password value up here that I have up here as a hook into a hashed password. So one of those really long strings. And I'll show you what the string looks like in just a second. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and copy this. Uh, and I'm going to come to my sign up, handle sign up function. Uh, and instead of these numbers that here, what this is meant to be is, is the password. So I'm going to go ahead and just type the word password because that's what's going to be in my, uh, that I'm going to be using the variable that's connected to the text input. So what this is going to do is it's going to change your password text into a hashed password and you'll get to see what that hash looks like uh, in the console log once I use it. That's all you have to do to create the hash. Um, the last thing is how do you, uh, decode the hash? How do you turn the hash password back into the, the first password? So to check the password, just make sure the password matches the hash password, the decoded hash password. Bcrypt has something called compare sync. Um, and this, you can just copy this function and I have a separate login function. This is what I would use uh, this function in. So what I'm going to do is 
uh, I'm going to get the user by the username uh, that I've saved to the Fingobox database. And then uh, I'm going to compare the hashed password that's inside of the Fingobox database with uh, the password that I type in. And what I'm going to say here, I'm going to paste it right here, this if. And the way I have this set up is um, the password saved to the columns in the database, the password column. And so that's what I'm saying is the hash. So I'm putting the hash right here. Uh, and again, I'm just going to switch this to password because password is the variable uh, that I want to compare to the hash. What it's going to return is if it's true, it's going to return login successful. If it's false, it's going to return login false. So I'm going to go ahead and open up my app in an Android emulator. All right, so I'm going to uh, go ahead and sign up and I'll show you in the console logs what's going on. Again, first in um, the, the sign up page, we're going to be looking at this hashed password to see what it looks like, what it turns it into. And then we're going to compare it in the login function to make sure everything's working. So I'll just say uh, tj at nativenotify.com. Uh, for my password, I'm just gonna say password. Uh, go ahead and fill in these other things. Oops. All right, I'll go ahead and click submit. All right, so you'll notice here, I have in my console log values, um, the third one right here, it's this one right here. This is what your, uh, here, I'll make this a little bigger, hold on. Okay, so this right here, this is what your uh, hash password will look like. It will look something like this. And now uh, I'm gonna log in. It's going to return this from the database columns. And then I'm gonna compare that in this compare function, if I type it in correctly, then it should say login successful. If not, it'll say login failed. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and type in my username. I'll type in the password wrong first. So I'll just say password one. It should say fail. All right, so the login failed because uh, it didn't match correctly, so it re returned false. Now, if I just say password, it should say login successful. All right, and it said login successful. So that's how Bcrypt works. Again, if you wanna see this code, I have a link to the code in the description below. Uh, if you'd like to set up a Fingobox database, You'll want to uh, go to fingobox.com. It's free to sign up. There's no credit card required. You'll need one of those for um, the code in the description below to work. If you'd like to learn more about Fingobox, you can watch this video here. It explains a little bit more about it. Also, if you're a React Native, Expo, or Flutter developer, and you're interested in a super simple push notification service, you can watch this video right here. Don't forget to like the video if you like the video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.